Tennis was released for the Atari 2600 by Activision in 1981. It's self-explanatory enough, you play a tennis match, against another human or the computer. There's not much to the graphics, both players are a solid color, but they at least look human, unlike some of the other sports games on the 2600, and the animation is decent enough. The controls are very fluid, and the players move quickly, providing the game with a nice brisk pace, although you can play a variation with the game in slow motion. Your player swings the racket automatically. All you have to do is position him in the spot to hit the ball. You never use the button at all throughout the game, with the exception of serving. You'd think it would be a good idea to let the button act as a lob shot or something for the sake of variety, and to give the button a damn function for that matter, but nope. You can't control at all where the ball goes, and you can't angle the shots either, at least not in the default mode, more on that later. But I guess that's not too bad, as it could potentially make the game frustrating to be very particular with your position, especially since you can't control the direction of your shot. So it's simplified to keep the game flowing, but the problem is it's too easy to hit the ball, and it never goes out of bounds, so it's not like you have to be careful with how you line up your shot. So a single volley could go on forever. Notice how nobody has scored a single point yet in this clip, and it's been running since the beginning of the review. It's not unusual at all for it to go on this long. So, yeah, it's a good thing that they didn't overcomplicate things, but they should have made a few adjustments here and there to trim the average volley time down a little. At least implement some form of strategy other than run to the ball. Well, there is an option. If you have the difficulty switch set to B, your shots will travel at a wider angle by hitting the ball with the edge of the racket, like mentioned earlier. This option is recommended as it's really the only leverage you have at shaking things up, but then you have to position the ball right at the edge of the racket and run the risk of missing the ball completely over the sake of angling the shot a little bit. I wouldn't really say it's worth the risk, but it at least adds something. The only other adjustment you can make is to slow the game down with the slow motion variation, but that just expands the window of reaction time, making it even easier to chase the ball down. Tennis is a mediocre affair. It's by far best suited for two players, but there was definitely room for improvement. Activision had a good string of sports titles for the 2600, Enduro, Ice Hockey, and Boxing, but tennis unfortunately doesn't measure up with them. That's why I say